So let's um, take a look at deploying the log streaming service for Zscaler Private Access. Log streaming in Zscaler Private Access uses the same app connector infrastructure to provide a point of presence on the customer network um, to connect to your log receiver. So I can come to administration, uh, log receivers, and I already have one here for the Zscaler Deception, so we'll ignore that, but we'll add a log receiver, and we'll call this my syslog server. Um, and the IP address 192.168.1.14, port 11,000. Um, TLS decryption is disabled, and normally you'd deploy uh, an app connector group specifically for your log streaming. I have such a low traffic volume that I will use the same uh, log receiver in my Milton Keynes data center that was deployed for my application access. So I click next, and I have a number of different log types. So I can either send user activity, user status, disconnects and reconnects, app connector status, service edge status, browser access logs, audit logs, web inspection logs, where I'm doing inspection, the app connector matrix, uh, the app connector metrics, all the private service edge metrics for me to monitor the health of my uh, app connectors and private service edges. So I have multiple different log types that I could stream through log streaming service. Um, and I'd create different feeds, different destinations, um, and therefore when they consume into my uh, syslog server or my sim, I can then generate alerts based on certain activity. So I'm only specifically interested in user activity for these logs. I have a log format here that's going to send across all of that transaction information. Um, and I could then filter those logs if I wanted to based on SAML and skim attributes, um, specific application segments uh, or segment groups or client types or, co or connection codes. So I have granularity on the log types and I have granularity in terms of policy to filter those logs if I only wanted to log blocks or allows uh, or certain application traffic in a certain format so I can generate alerts based on activity. So really aligning with the zero trust principles to not only allow access based on policy, but to log and then in the back end alert if I need to based on that activity. So let's click next. We review those logs and we click save. So my log server is, is up and running um, and it's going to start streaming those logs um, through to my uh, log streaming server. So if I come across here and I generate a new, uh, some new traffic, I'll go to uh, my lovely apache.welshgeek.net website. It's coming through Zscaler Private Access. I come here into my diagnostics. You can see that transaction for apache.welshgeek.net came through my uh, service edge um, and the transaction information here in my logs. If I come across to my syslog server, I can see that there's traffic coming into my LSS log file here. And here are the transaction information. And here is the data for that um, file. So I see the date and timestamp, my account name, Mark Ryan. Um, the transaction came through, information about the user, the port, the destination information, and the application segment. And here's the FQDN and it came through my Apache uh, with a browser. So I can stream the logs from Zscaler Private Access using the log streaming server directly into my SIM and then filter on my SIM and uh, trigger alerts based on that as well.